Tell me what to say. Hello and welcome to another exciting new episode of Sidious Nivage with S.B. Avery Brown and Gourmet Pens. Very loud. Sorry. Oh. Today we'll have a look at. Hmm. What will we have a look at? Me, 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 me. It's a white box. Me, 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 me. Um. We will be looking at a pen that is expensive, but was lent to us to review. Kindly. Um. By Applebaum Pennon. And so what I'm going to do is hold up the pen as soon as I don't lose this. I'm gonna hold this. Thank you. That is the Mont Blanc M. M. This is the fountain pen version. It also comes in a ballpoint, a f art fine liner, a screenwriter, and either a ballpoint or a rollerball. But I'm fairly certain a rollerball, but maybe also a ballpoint. Anyway, there's like 50 of these available. Um, so if the fountain pen doesn't float your boat, you can also get one of those. But if the fountain pen doesn't float your boat, it's kind of strange that you're here. True. Anyway, uh, so thank you very much to Applebaum for lending us this pen. We've had it for a really long time, so we thought we should do this. And... Yes, and send it back. Anyway, what were your first impressions? This will be an interesting one, because it's a very different pen, right? So... It is very different. My first impressions were, hey, this doesn't really look like a Mont Blanc, because it has these weird uh, features. You about... want to put it against this? Maybe yeah. it'll show it easily. Um... So my first impressions were, well, it's definitely a very interesting design, and I, I, I guess that also goes into what makes it special, so maybe you can give your first impressions first. Uh, okay, well, my first impressions, well, you know, just because I have the box and because blah blah blah, uh, it's very simple packaging, it comes in a, in a sleeve, and then this is the, the box, there goes the cartridge. Uh, it also came with a, a spacer cartridge in the pen, so... Uh, it's okay, it's focusing. So it's, that was in the barrel. Demonstration sample. Use Mont Blanc ink only. Well, that's okay. Um, that was cute. Uh -huh. Anyway, the packaging's alright. I mean, it's not really... It's very simple, straightforward. Uh, not necessarily a bad thing. And there's some details about a magnet. Oh, uh, we will get to that suit. Okay. Uh, enough of that. As for the pen, <laughs> I'm losing the cartridges in there. Yeah, that's all right. Thank you. I, I thought the pen, uh, like what uh, Stephen has said, it it doesn't really look like a Mont Blanc, at least not the classic Mont Blanc, because of course they make all sorts of pens that don't look like their classic cigar-shaped pen. So, um, it's different. It's kind of a a cute. Pen, I guess. Um, so I was interested in it, but not sure. But I was curious. <laughs> First impressions were intrigued, but not like, oh my god, this is the most beautiful pen ever. I must own it. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good way to put it. So I suppose what makes it special is that it is designed by Mark Newson. A uh, designer from Australia, I, I want to say. Yes, and I said this in my review, but to be honest, I had no clue who Mark Newson was. I'm not really into the design mm -hmm. scene or stuff like that, so I don't no, know. I. Um, so, it, it, yeah, it's it's definitely different. It's definitely a whole different take on a Mont Blanc pen. It's not something we have seen before. At least I have not seen anything like this before, I think. Uh, so in that regard, it, it, it is different, and Mont Blanc tries to modernize its look, I suppose. Yeah. Um, now... They yeah they do that, um, and they've tried to change the iconic placement of the uh, the, the the star and all that stuff, and that's described by Mark Newson. So, so a lot of thought went into this. Um, now, what what was your writing experience like? Um, well, this is a fourteen karat gold fine nib. Now, if you look at the nib, it's very interesting. I think it looks really cool. It kind of, apparently, this is what the Star War Star Walkers uh, have. So with this kind of tubular feed and this interesting rounded nib. Um, 
So the nib is originally, I've read this in the Mont Blanc article in Penworld, so very educational. The nib is originally yellow gold and then it is rhodium plated, so you know that's where you get all the rhodium. And then this little inlay, they actually have to lacquer off the sides and then reapply gold because the ruthenium does not adhere to rhodium. And then they put the rhodium, or the ruthenium over the gold, and this is how they get this two-tone look, which sounds like the most inefficient way to get this look ever. I don't know. Um, it seems like they could have put the ruthenium onto the yellow gold and then rhodium plate it around. I don't know. Anyway, maybe that factors into the price. What does this have to do with the writing experience? Well, I don't know if ruthenium gives a certain type of stiffness to a nib or what, but this nib is not a bad nib. I actually did not have a negative writing experience mm -hmm. with it. Uh, no hard starts, no skips, writes reliably, um, but it's not... It is a fine, so to say it's not super smooth is kind of silly, but it has a bit of feedback to it. Not bad feedback, but um, feedback that you can feel. It's also <laughs> fine, of course. It is fine, um, yeah. But yeah, my my writing experience was was similar. It's um, by no means a bad nib. It it flows well, mm -hmm. but I I can't say it knocked me off my socks. It's knocked uh, your socks off. Maybe <laughs> knocked me out of my socks. Blew me out of my shoes. I don't know. Floated uh, your boat. Yeah. Um. So it's nice, but it 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 didn't wow me. It did not make me think that I was writing with the, 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 the most magnificently designed pen and nib in the world. So that kind of sums it up. Definitely a good performer, mm -hmm. but not something that, that... Changed your life? Put the shoelaces on my shoes. <laughs> um, <coughs> what, what about uh, as a po like, uh, in hand? The aspect of it. yeah, well, in hand, it's very, uh, it, it's it's very interesting. Especially because you have by you know, colossal hands. by no means a large pen. It's uh, it's it's. I don't think it's small. No, it's a, it's a I would say normally sized pen. Um, the f the section has these very fine grooves, which you may not be able to see, but definitely be able to hear. Um, they are the section is metal. It's not, I don't find it particularly slippery. No, I think those grooves help. The grooves help, but the grooves I also think are a little weird. You definitely feel them in your fingers. Um, so. Do you notice the, um, the jump from the section to the barrel? You can maybe show. Yeah, there's definitely uh, quite a step down going on there. I mean, it's not sharp, like it doesn't hurt, but you can no, feel it. No, it is rounded, but you can definitely feel it. So, so if you grip like high up. Yes. Um, so, uh, in, I mean, also, I, this is, given the size, oh, I'll come back to that. Okay, so the writing experience was... Well, I think this is part of the writing experience, because how it feels kind yeah, of contributes well, I, to the comfort of using it, right? I, I would really like to post this, given the size and the very light weight. Okay, we can sort of move into love and hate. Yes, I suppose so, huh? Yeah. Um, well, it doesn't post. The, the cap just falls off. Even though this is flat, you see that, that flat bit right there? It won't hold the... I thought that was to aid posting, but it doesn't do anything. So the cap is just a loose thing. And um, th that's something that doesn't really work for me. With such a light pen, I think posting would really add a little bit of weight, especially given that there is a, a metal clip on here. The cap actually weighs something, so it would add something, but it, you, you can't use it like this. It's very wobbly and it will fall off. So that's something that didn't really work for me. Another. Wait, wait, well, let's do what we love because yeah. I think there will be more <laughs> dislikes. Yeah, to be I, honest. well, I think it is a very admirable thing that Mont Blanc said, you know what, we are going to be hip. We're going to nail this. We, we are going to completely modernize our pen look. I don't know if this is it. Um, but I think, well, I the, think it's a modern look. It's, it's definitely um, modernized. It has some cool things like the, the magnet so that the the clip will always align with the white star in the cap. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. I mean, I think you're a bit too close. Doesn't so doesn't, it doesn't always should, work, yeah, but it 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 no, it, it always it works. kind of works. It always um, works. Yeah. Yeah. Now it doesn't work. Oh. Um. So well, it's, that's because it's fun. 
means. That's because the cap is no longer uh, on. Right. When you turn it that far, it starts to come off. So. So it's that is that is another cute feature. I think it works. You like know, it. something something someone put put thought in that. The clip is decent. The clip it's is it's decent. snug, but it has a ball at the end. So once you're under the ball, it, it it'll hold in place. Um, I like in a way. I like. It is a sleek looking. Pen, yeah, it right? is, and it's it's. I like that they really try to do something different from say the Meisterstück series, which is very iconic, and and it, they're all the same, right? They're all the same shape. Well, it's a one forty four. 149, all of the same shape. This is different. I think the nib is very pretty. I the mean, nib is different I'm too. I'm not really it's... hugely into the rounded feed look, but I think the, the two-tone is is really cool. Yeah, it, it, that, that worked out. So, look-wise, it's Let's it's see if I can different. get this. Yeah, you see that? So the, no, the, wait, 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 wait. The magnet... I just dropped it, but it fell on carpet, so it didn't die. The magnet is supposed to, I thought, help in... in capping the pen, but that doesn't work. No, it only works if it, you right? hold it very close to the barrel, so that's not really... So, yeah, what do I love about it? Well, it was a good attempt. What I don't like about it, to be honest, is, is how it turned out. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't wow me enough for, for given the price and given that it's Mont Blanc. And the final thing I'll say is it's not a piston filler. When I think of Mont Blancs, I think of piston fillers. I know there are exceptions. But I think that that's what they're known for, the really nice telescopic piston fill. And this is just a cartridge converter filled pen and, and some converter I had to go through quite some trouble to, to make converter fit, so Yeah, so with the dislikes, it, it they do say the Mont Blanc uh, cartridges are the only things that fit. We fit a large size Coveco converter yeah. without issues, no leaking or anything. Um so that was nice because I don't know. I, I, for me, if a pen is not a pocket pen, there's no need for it to not have a converter. <laughs> Visconti speakeasy. So, um, it, I was glad that we could find something that fit. But of course, you're putting a Caveco converter into Mont Blanc. Not that it matters that it's a Caveco, but it's more so that it should either come with it at the price, or just take that to begin with, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, I I think it's a I think it's a a nice design. I think it's cute. Um, I don't think it's as timeless and elegant as the as the Meisterstück series is. Um, but it is a little cooler. It's a yeah. little newer. So how long it will be awesome, I do not know. But uh, I don't hate it. No, I don't hate it either. But I don't love it either. I I don't yeah. feel the desire to to buy it. No. Because I think... Well, that's the next question. Would you buy it? So yeah. No. So this is 500 euros here. And, um, for the fountain pen. And I, at 500 euros, you're in the 146 range. Yes. And then you get a, an 18K nib with a piston filler. So, of course, all Mont Blanc pens, you're paying uh -oh. premium, right? So, it, it's like, well, is this premium worth it over the 146 premium? Uh, for me, I prefer the 146 because I just prefer the look of it. Uh, I actually find the 146 more comfortable. So, I would not buy this one because I favor the 146. Um, but I can see that, I, I can see how some people would like this design. I also think that this doesn't really look as cool as a fountain pen, but as the, the screenwriter, it works better because it's more technologically looking appearing. I don't know if that makes sense. I I, I think the issue with this, sense. I would not buy it. Yeah, it didn't make sense. I, I would not buy this either, um, but I can definitely see how there's a specific type of person to who this would appeal. I think yeah. if you are the kids or the hip businessmen who are young and uh, or businesswomen, by the way, who are young and who, 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 who want a Mont Blanc, <laughs> but don't necessarily want you know, the typical what the old blow, geezers right? have, yeah. but they want something that's hip and cool. Are you calling me an old geezer? Um, you're older than I am, so, you know. Oh, uh, I am. This is the worst. <laughs> I'm so old. Okay. It's a two-month difference. Anyway, I, I can see how this would appeal to, to, to people, for sure. And it's so not that it's badly it's made. It's absolutely not a bad pen. I it mean, writes, the tolerance it, is it, great. It, it, it's it's well made. It's just my only problem with it, and that's very subjective, is that it doesn't do anything for me. This pen does not make me blush, you know, and think, oh yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't have that effect on me. Now, question is, is it 
or is it not serious nippage? That's tough. Here's the serious nippage meter. Not serious, very serious, and uh, a scale that has no numbers because this is not an exact science. I, um... That's tough. I think the pen is well made. I think the writing experience was really pleasant. Not my favorite nib, but I cannot argue that it was a poor performer. That, no, it was I mean, a well-tuned it, it, nib. Very well-tuned. Even after sitting, it didn't dry out. It just picked up right away. So in that regard, I have to say its performance is, is pretty high. How? Wait, let me just have a look at the meter here instead of looking at the camera. However, for me... <laughs> It's just, it's not super high on the meter for me because I think for the price, first of all, you should get a converter that fits because converters do fit in this. Now, I did, I do recall that I think, wasn't it Yoast Applebaum who said something that they send out the pens with a converter when people buy it? I thought I remember that from my But no Mont Blanc converters fit in this. Yeah, that, uh, that's what I don't Which... understand. We were at uh, another fountain pen store, uh, uh, Ackermann, I think, mm -hmm. where, where they tried to, they, they showed it to us and they, they tried to put a Mont Blanc converter in and the, the barrel wouldn't shut, wouldn't, wouldn't uh, you know, uh, close up uh, adequately. So it was too big or something. So I don't know if that's another converter, but anyway, I think it's, yeah, anyway. no matter. For me, I, I don't have any issue with the appearance because I think it is, well, I think it's pretty. Uh, I like a lot of weird looking pens or unusual pens. I still like classic pens, but I mean, it's fun to sometimes have something different. But for me, it's more so, I don't think what it offers for me is is worth it. Yeah, So I the agree. value for me is not yeah. 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 on point. No, I think that's a good way to put it. It's, uh, it's But it's... I can see for others, who, like why somebody would like this yeah of course I mean this is only our opinion uh, naturally in the end you could do whatever the you yeah, want to do. exactly <laughs> yeah uh, now so what, what about wait, what about you where are you on the meter oh yeah I'm, I, I would even put it a bit lower probably there because okay. I just I'm just not I guess not for you it's enough. a little smaller too yeah but that's of course I mean that's not the pen's fault that's just the, the, the way it is but I, yeah. I just I just don't I just don't see anything in this I mean this as far as I'm concerned and and um, feel free to uh, burn me in effigy, but for me this could also be a two hundred dollar Lamy or maybe a hundred fifty dollar. I Lamy. showed this to a friend of mine who sort of likes pens, but is not crazy about pens like you know all of us watching this and doing this, and he said that looks like a nice Lamy. Yeah. So I think um, not to say that it's a, it's not a nice pen, no, but I also... think that's the thing. It it doesn't stand out. Yeah. As a Mont Blanc, yeah. which is, I think, we cannot really deny that a lot of people like a Mont Blanc, a Mont Blanc because it is a Mont Blanc, right? It's the way it is, and I think if you have a 149 in your, your breast pocket, like it or not, people are going to say, ooh, you know, especially in certain circles. And with this, I think they're going to say, oh, yeah. Unless you don't want that. Because, yeah, of course. You know, I mean, if you don't want it to be, like, if you don't want to feel like, oh, I'm so obnoxious or something, this will not do that. So... Now, imagine... Anyway, enough of ima my rumbling. Imagine that you would say, I have these 500 euros to spend. I want a pen like this, but I don't Cuckoo! want this. What would you buy in such a case? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, you are, like we said, you are getting into the 146 range. I actually think you are into it. You can get a, a Pelican M1000. I th or are they five seventy nine? Yeah, a bit more expensive. You're in the range of an M eight hundred. M eight hundred for sure. But but I mean, an M eight hundred has more features. I think. I think piston filler and a very nice gold nib. Interchangeable nib units. Yeah. Um, also, it's bigger, so for people who have bigger hands, it's kind of nice. Um, what else? Well, you you're looking at uh, Nakaya range. Yeah, you're looking which are, at. Uh, Completely different pens, of course, but Visconti you are range, opened up to a lot more sapiens. Pens. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, there's a lot. I mean, 500 euros is a lot of money, so there's a lot of pen options. That's the thing. So at 500 euros, is this the one you want to buy? And if it yeah. is, that's totally cool because yeah, I buy insane mean. things too. But So there we go. Yeah. We hope this was useful. 
I, I thank you again to Applebaum for lending us yes, his pen. You. We shall finally send it back to you. Hopefully he will still lend us pens after this because he might be like, mm. <laughs> I don't like you anymore. No. Um, I think that's just, just to say, I think he's been very great about this because even though we are very honest, I would say, I mean, I don't think this is like a, a promo for this pen or anything. He still continues to trust us to borrow these pens. And we so, appreciate it. Very much appreciated. We are not giving this away. Sorry, it's actually no. going back to Apple Bomb. Right back. Um, but hopefully this has provided some insight into the Mont Blanc M. And uh, if you want writing samples and stuff, we do not have any in here, but you can look at our reviews, which are linked to down below. And um, there are writing samples there. Also more details if you wish. And? Thank you very much for watching. We will gladly see you later. Give us a thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Um, okay. That's all, right? Bye!